Hello and good day, welcome to our YouTube channel, God's Promises. And today's video will be Book of 1 Timothy, Chapter 2. Let's get started now. The Book of 1 Timothy is one of the pastoral epistles written by the Apostle Paul to his disciple and co-worker, Timothy. In Chapter 2, Paul addresses the issue of prayer and worship in the church, specifically focusing on the roles and conduct of men and women. Verse 1 sets the tone for the chapter, calling for believers to pray for all people, including kings and those in positions of authority. This reminds us that we should pray for our leaders, regardless of whether we agree with them or not. Through our prayers, we can ask God to grant them wisdom, guidance, and protection. Verse 2 follows up with the purpose of these prayers, that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and reverence. This verse highlights the importance of peace and godliness in our daily lives. By praying for our leaders and seeking peace, we can live a life that is pleasing to God. Next, in verses 3 to 7, Paul addresses the conduct of men and women in the church. He urges women to dress modestly and to focus on their inner beauty rather than their outward appearance. He also forbids women from assuming teaching or leadership roles in the church, stating that, a woman should learn in quietness and full submission. This passage has been controversial in modern times, with some interpreting it as a restriction on women's participation in the church. However, it is important to understand the cultural context in which it was written. In the first century, women were often uneducated and had limited opportunities for leadership or public speaking. Paul's instruction was likely intended to prevent disruption and confusion in the early church. Despite this cultural context, we can still learn important lessons from this passage. First, we should prioritize inner beauty over outward appearance, recognizing that true beauty comes from within. Second, we should approach learning and teaching with a spirit of humility and submission, recognizing that we can all learn from one another. In verses 8 to 15, Paul turns his attention to the conduct of men in the church. He instructs men to pray with holy hands and to avoid anger and quarreling. He also reinforces the idea that women should not teach or have authority over men. Again, it is important to understand the cultural context in which these instructions were given. In the first century, men were often associated with anger and violence, and Paul's instructions were likely intended to promote peace and order in the church. However, we can still apply these teachings to our daily lives. We should approach prayer with reverence and avoid quarreling and conflict with others. We should also recognize that everyone has different roles and responsibilities in the church and in society, and we should respect those differences. Finally, in verses 15 to 16, Paul reminds Timothy of the ultimate goal of his ministry, that we may be saved and come to a knowledge of the truth. This is a powerful reminder that our ultimate purpose in life is to seek salvation and to know God's truth. In conclusion, the book of 1 Timothy, chapter 2 provides us with valuable teachings and lessons that we can apply to our daily lives. We should prioritize prayer, peace, and godliness, and approach learning and teaching with humility and submission. We should also respect the different roles and responsibilities that each person has in the church and in society. Ultimately, our goal should be to seek salvation and to know God's truth. By applying these teachings, we can lead lives that are pleasing to God and bring us closer to Him. The book of 1 Timothy, chapter 2 reminds us of the importance of prayer, humility, and respect in our daily lives and in our interactions with others. May we all seek to apply these teachings in our lives and grow in our relationship with God. Thank you for visiting us today. Please share with us your favorite Bible chapter, below in the comments section. Don't forget to like and subscribe, it really does help our channel grow. Looking forward to see you back here for our next video. Always take good care.